Good afternoon. Dave Spaulding here with what I think is one of the newest innovations in law enforcement firearms training, and it's the Moto Shop. For many years, firearms instructors, not only in the private sector, but also in the government sector, have tried to find ways to put more realism into their training. Nowadays, as you know, we have the interactive uh, technologies of Simunition and Airsoft, which are good and should be incorporated into your training program, but at the same time, we're still looking for ways to try to put live fire training uh, along with realism, and this is what we got with MotoShot. I can remember in the mid-90s when I was the training supervisor for my former agency, and we had put in a tens of thousands of dollars into a pneumatic training system, and one of the things we added was a, a running man target system that basically just carried a cardboard target back and forth across the front of the range. While that was certainly better than nothing, it was nothing like what we're doing here today. Running Man was great for follow-through, but let's face it, in, uh, in actual confrontations, how many times have you ever seen the uh, armed suspect run back and forth? That's not what they do. They move, they bop, they weave, they try to get out of your way, they try to create better positions for them to shoot you, and that's what we can do with the Moto Shot. And what we're going to show you today is some of the things we can do with that. Down the ground! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Do it now! Stop! Stop! I said stop! Okay, I'd like to introduce to the viewer my uh, training partner and former uh, partner on the sheriff's training staff, Jack Yaley. Jack, uh, you've acted as the uh, subject, or I should say maybe guinea pig for the moto shot today, what uh, did you think of the unit? I think it's got terrific training potential. It, okay. uh, it uh, not only uh, allows you to, to use, you can utilize, the operator can stop it, if you can utilize, uh, utilize verbal commands, uh, it just any different array of training uh, scenarios can be utilized with this. Now, uh, even though you knew the unit was going to be charging at you and moving around, what did you feel like when all of a sudden that thing starts coming at you? You feel kind of an adrenaline rush. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, as, as an incident would, a critical incident would occur, you feel yourself getting psyched up, feel the adrenaline rushing. You feel it's, it's a fight or flight reflex uh, right through the train. How do you think this relates to the old running man target that we used to use at the sheriff's office? Oh, it's eons above it in training. Uh, I mean, we was can only be compared to the dark age. Now, considering the fact that the running man cost us about $10,000 back in 1996 versus this unit costing around two grand, do you think you're going to get economical training for your for your money here? Oh, not only economic, but more realistic. Uh, you could dress this uh, this gentleman up with any kind of uh, array you want. You could use uh, you could put armor on him and make it uh, uh, a uh, a uh, headshot drill. Uh, any, any type of uh, different uh, scenarios you could use this for. You're not strictly uh, planted to a, a back and forth lateral movement as a running man. Uh, it's, the training is only up to the imagination of the instructor. Okay, there you heard it from a gentleman who was not only a, a, a very experienced trainer, but also a very experienced law enforcement officer of, of three decades experience. This right here, for just a couple of thousand dollars, it can be available to the smallest agency and is extremely cork defensible. And as much as we want our training to not only to be enjoyable and fun and, and not something that's dreaded by the officers that come out and do it, we want our training to be that cork defensible program that we as instructors can actually get up on the stand in front of a, a, a county court or, or maybe a federal district judge and explain to them why we did what we did. 
Well, in the case of the moto shot, having a lifelike human being, a human target, charge you, move around you, make you move, and manipulate your actions to, to respond to them is something that's just... Um, we don't even need to discuss it. It's just one of those things that we have to do. We have to shoot at lifelike objects. We have to shoot at moving targets. We have to move while they're moving because that's what happens in the real world. With this motor shot unit, you're going to get that kind of training at a price point that most any agency can afford.